impressed with the way Max has adjusted uh, at, after previously being a third stringer? You know, he's definitely proven himself to a lot of people. Um, as a team, you already knew what he could do, and you know, he's definitely showed a lot of maturity from last year when he got you know reps in the game, and you know, he's definitely played his heart out. And he even shows that in practice. Do you uh, do you think? The, obviously, he improved from his performance against Central Florida. Now, Ohio State. Uh, does he have the mindset, the ability to take on a top ten team on the road? Yeah, I, I believe in him fully. You know, I believe the coaches believe in him. I think the team believes in him. Um, he had a good day of practice yesterday, and you know, all it takes is great preparation, film, great practicing, and you know, anyone can c compete with anyone. Um, it's just the sole fact of willing to go do it, and I think Max has that. Minnesota came into last Saturday leading the Big Ten and stopping the run. You guys put 262 on the board. What's working you know, for you guys on the ground? What's been the difference? The line. <laughs> um, they just, when you see them in practice and you see them on film, like they're just destroying guys. You know, um, we were watching, um, I was watching film the other day of uh, Durham Gray and Damian Prince got finishing guys and Brandon Moore just destroying guys, pushing them off the ball. Um, I think there was a play with um, like third and two, and we did an inside zone play, and you just saw the push off the line, and they got like three yards of push from you know the line, and that's what's been going on, really. That's what's been working is our line, just the willing to go out there and smack someone in the mouth, and you know, um, just the players in general, like the wide outs, the QB running backs, everyone, just the uh, – the uh, coachability and you know doing what you're doing close to do meyer consulting engineers in the past five years our organization has completed over 1300 projects in the u.s and abroad including many structures at the university of maryland for structural engineering and materials testing and inspection call meyer consulting engineers Yeah, something like that. It was um, it was a, a play where the running back leads. Um, and you DJ. were that running back. Yes, sir. And um, you know, just doing my job. In, in terms of Max, uh, everybody thought he was. A po I mean, looks at him as a pocket passer. Okay, um, Max Porter slot right over here. And um, he made a couple of early runs. Did that sort of put them back on their heels a little bit? Like, okay, we have to sort of account for him. You know, getting out of the pocket as well. And maybe open things up for you guys. No, definitely. You know, um, Max knew he needed to make big plays, and, you know, he knew there's going to be some plays where he's going to need to tuck the ball and run. And, you know, those runs he made, you know, they were effective. He got first down, he got a touchdown. And, um, you know, they had to take an account for, and you have to take an account for any QB that's going to, you know, tuck the ball and run. So I um, definitely think, you know, that, type, oh, that kind of. Uh, you know, made them rethink their defensive strategy a little bit. On, on your last touchdown, uh, was there ever thought uh, that I scored too early, or you knew you, you had uh, in that kind of game you had to, you had to get in the end zone? Um, I don't really know. Uh, Coach uh, Durkin looked at me. It was like tough yards today, and I was like, all right. So that my men's, my uh, mentality was, you know, get a foot in the ground and lower my shoulders, get north all game. Because they, you know, rush defense and everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting those yards. I'm getting the first down. If it's third and one or third and two, I'm getting it. And um, there's watching film, there's a few plays where I got tripped up that could have been, you know, all the way. But, um, you know, I'm just glad that I have this line, you know, that does all the work and I just have the easy part. On that, last, on the last play of the half, were you told to get that? Um, it was just a lot of guys talking, like the coaches were talking, how we need to like get down and everything so we can get in field goal range. And um, they're like, oh, we need to get this far. And as the play went out, you know, I just did what they mostly said in the huddle to everyone, just get the yards and get down so we can get a field goal. On that last touchdown run, it looked like there was kind of a huge hole that the line opened up. At what point did you realize, you know, I'm gone for the touchdown? <clears throat> When I was in the end zone, yeah. um, uh, when I saw the hole open, you know, I was just reading the defense and Brendan Moore and, um, you know, Terrence, they just blew up everyone and the linebacker misplayed a gap. So 
it was nothing but green grass in front of me, and I was like, all right, let's go. It was about a minute left, so I was like, we need to, we need this, so just shout out the gate. Uh, Ohio State's coming off a shutout of Rutgers. What have you guys seen? What have you heard about this Buckeye defense? You know, they're great defense. You know, um, they have a lot of guys that swarm to the ball. Um, they have a lot of guys that just play hard in general. Um, you know, got to watch more film this week, of course. Um, only watched a little bit yesterday and Sunday. But, um, oh, they just play hard. You know, they swarm to the ball. They, you know, they attack the ball a lot. Um, but other than that, you know, there's, they practice just like us, you know, so there's one of them. I want you to take over control.